Hey there, Masters of the Universe and Princess of Power fans. This is Wesetron. Today we're going to be taking a look at Masters of the Universe Classics Natasa action figure by Maddie Collector, or uh, Mattel Toys, basically. Um, this figure is only available online and is currently sold out. Uh, I am subscribed this year. It's my first year doing it. Um, so we'll see how that plays out. Um, box is pretty much standard for uh, what you expect. Um, it's got the uh, Green Castle Grey Skull stones here, the lightning in the background, some planets and stuff, Masters of the Universe classics. You can see all of her accessories, unfortunately. Uh, I uh, don't think she comes with anything besides the shield, which is really kind of dumb. Um, I don't know what uh, person in battle is, I mean, it's the Great Rebellion and she's going to run in with a shield, They're like, okay, way to defend yourself, bud. Um, so yeah, uh, on the back we've got a shot of the uh, Star Sisters here, Natasa, Frosta, and Bo, so these are all pop characters. So uh, that's kind of interesting that they didn't put any of the other Masters figures on it. And uh, for anyone who's interested in the bio, hopefully you can read that. If not, the bios are available on like Pogo Stool, and I think It's All True put, puts them up. Um, so, uh, yeah, but if anybody wanted to read it, there it is. Um, yeah, typical packaging for the line. Let's get her open and see how she does. And here's Natasa out of packaging. And I gotta say, she looks pretty cool. I think she fits the, uh, Motuk aesthetic pretty well. Um, you know, she's got, uh, really bright colors, similar to the Filmation cartoon. Um, kind of, a nice little, uh, Flourishes with paint where she might not have in the old days or even on the cartoon. Very nice looking overall. I dig it. So we'll start off talking about her shield because it is her one accessory. Um, they did a really uh, cool little gemstone here. I, uh, kind of a deep blue glued in there. It reflects light really well. It's got a nice faceted uh, design to it. Very cool. Kind of a star design around that and then like um, some uh, like wings sort of almost uh it sort of looks like uh the uh, bubble power uh princess shira i don't know if that's right or not but kind of looks like it um it connects via these uh sort of softer plastic pieces on the inside um i don't know if you can tell you probably can on camera but the arms appear to be painted um so it makes me a little nervous clipping it on there i actually slid her wrist through this one and then sort of snapped it into place on the front so um, I'm going to try and take it off that same way if I can. It makes me very nervous that I'm going to scratch the paint. Okay, there we go. So you can see there's a larger one and a smaller one. So you can't really even put it on this one, I guess, unless you put it on the inside, which looks pretty ridiculous. So this definitely goes on her uh, left arm, which makes sense because pretty much everyone in the world is right-handed. Um, so as far as the figure itself, very, very nice. They did a great job on the makeup paint job is just utterly fantastic. Um, the hair is kind of interesting. It's sort of like a uh, almost a really light blue or almost even a white with a uh, darker blue wash over it. Either that or it's a darker blue with a uh, white dry brushing, but it really looks nice. It's got some nice depth to it. It, it. it may just come off as one solid color, but up close it actually looks really, really good. You, you may be able to see some of the white in there. Um, but it gives her hair kind of a I don't know, a pearlescent type of look to it. Very cool. She's got these huge ear things. Forgive me, I don't know a whole lot about uh, pop. I was never a pop fan. Uh, my sister had a bow figure when I was a kid, and I thought that was pretty cool. But other than that, no real interest. But the hair is really nice. Very cool. That It, unfortunately, is very tough plastic. It doesn't have a whole lot of bend to it, and it's very thick. So even if it did, um, it's not going to do much for the uh, articulation. Um... The uh, unfortunate thing about this, though, is that um, her net is kind of her claim to fame, according to her bio, um, and it's she's supposed to be able to slip it off really easy, and that's her weapon, but you can't get it off unless you pop her head off. Um, they didn't include, like, a clasp here where you just unbutton it or anything like that, so I think that's kind of lame. Um, usually these heads aren't too hard to pop off, but I am a little nervous about this because I know the females have thinner neck pegs, so I'm not really eager to do that but it's a very floppy type of material very cool um, they did the lining actually really well um, I don't have slop or anything like that which is uh, pretty good for a figure this scale um, very nice and uh, nice texture to it if you can see that very very cool see straight through there's my fingers uh, 
So the uh, the body is very nice. They did a uh, kind of a metallic blue on the uh, armor piece here in the middle and the silver. Uh, the silver is continued on the bodice here and the uh, there's a lighter blue or like a non-metallic blue, I guess you should say, that forms these like swan-like flourishes on the side, which is very cool. This is actually like, um, the whole thing is sort of like a tube top or whatever girls want to call it. I have no idea. It's like a, a leather piece here in the middle. <laughs> I have no idea. But um, it's it's not connected, what I mean is it doesn't go over the shoulder into the back. So this is kind of neat how it just kind of floats off by itself. Very cool. Um, this is flexible, but it's not so flexible that it's not going to cause problems with articulation. So again, strike two, um, problems there. Um, the uh, skin tone appears to be painted on the whole figure, near as I can tell. Um, it may just be that it's really glossy, but it looks painted to me. Maybe, maybe that's actually molded in the right color. I don't know. It's, it's very hard for me to tell because it's got this kind of glossy look to it. Um, which actually doesn't look bad, I'm just pointing it out. Um, but they are painted at least here. Like, I can see it a little better on camera than I can in person. This looks painted, and that may be actually molded in plastic. So, we've got uh, white bracers with silver flourishes up here at the top. Um, not pearlescent or anything, they're just, they look standard white. Um, she's actually got, uh, like, metallic blue um, fingernail polish. Kind of neat, give it a little personality there, a little, something a little different. Um, Pretty evenly applied, not too crazy looking. A little bit much on the thumb, but not bad. Uh, the light blue skirt is uh, matches the uh, blue of the cape, which is pretty cool, and is a uh, very flexible plastic, so it doesn't hurt articulation too bad. Um, very nice skin tone on the legs, I dig it. And then uh, the paint up here, uh, yeah, I think this must be sculpted because you can see there's a different, slight difference in color here. Um, and then. Uh, the uh, metallic blue comes back on the boots, white. I think they could have done the uh, silver again there. Would have looked nice on the on this uh, kind of crest here on the boots. That would have been cool. But uh, shoes are about what you expect. Nothing new there. So very cool. Dig it. Um, overall, very nice look. Uh, articulation wise, she's got a uh, ball joint and neck which turns right and left, but because of the hair, that actually does pretty good left. Right, it starts to buckle on things and stuff, but she's got a little more movement, or a little more space here. Um, so turning left shouldn't be a problem, but turning right, it's going to start getting weird. Um, but she does have, you know, like tilt action and stuff, so uh, I don't think the hair is going to affect balancing too much, but we'll see in the long run. Um, swivel hinge shoulders, uh, they are hindered extremely by this. And they would also be hindered by the cape, excuse me, because the cape will move back a little bit. So you can kind of position it around if you need to, but just so you know. Um, the uh, hinges go up really far. There's nothing to hinder them or anything, so very nice there. Swivels in the biceps. Hinged about 90 degrees in the elbows. Swivel wrists. Swivel waist. Unfortunately, no kind of ab crunch or ball joint in the midsection for the girls. Um, huge bummer. The girls usually have... Um, much uh, reduced articulation. We have swivel hinge, swivel hips, which are the 90 degree angle swivels, so she can go straight forward and back and then out to the sides, and then she's got a swivel in the thigh. So the skirt actually isn't bad at holding up articulation. Even I expected maybe a cut here on the sides or maybe even in the back, um, but there's not, but um, it doesn't seem to hinder too much. I mean, like you can still kind of move like that. I would be worried about it in the long run, uh, maybe deteriorating a little bit, cracking, things like that, but. Um, I, I don't know for sure, um, but it, it, it works really well for now. Uh, hinge knees go close to 90. Unfortunately, they removed any kind of swivel in the top of the boots, another uh, restriction for female toy. They don't like to shed the dollar, so nothing there to help with balancing or anything. And we've got hinges in the ankles and some slight rocker action. Very slight, not much to it at all. This one's hardly moving at all. So. This figure, uh, I believe, was, it was either 22 or 25 They've gone up in price. They've gone up like $7 in the last two years, which is sort of insane. Um, just absolutely insane. I mean, this is too much. Um, but uh, I guess that's the state of things. You either pay it or you don't. Um, for 25 is I think, is what I'm paying for them a month. 25 she's too light on accessories, honestly. Um... There was a headdress that they showed her with originally that they said didn't cost out. Um, a sword, maybe, that didn't cost out, too. Um, all she comes with is the shield. 
and the cape you can't take off unless you take your head off, so I'm not counting it as an accessory. Um, overall, you could do better things with your cash. Um, I wouldn't pay 25 bucks for this on its own, unless you're a big pop fan. Like I said, I'm not a pop fan, so it's, it's just not for me. Um, I, I am excited to have somebody besides a huge white dude on my uh, shelf. It's nice to have uh, different types, different cultures, so that's pretty cool. Um, despite her totally racist name, um, it's uh, it's nice to have uh, some nice difference differences. I was going to say differentialities, which is totally not a word. I don't think maybe it is. Um, but some nice differences on the shelf, and it's nice to have more females on the shelf, which is very exciting. So uh, yeah, but overall, twenty five to twenty seven bucks is a lot to pay for this figure. If it was twenty bucks. I'd say, yeah, you could take a $20 leap on that, but at the higher price, including shipping, um, you're talking about spending a lot of money for a figure that doesn't come with a lot. So if you're a big fan, um, then, you know, maybe she's for you. Casual fans, easy pass. Um, thanks, guys, for watching. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the box below. Thanks to all new subscribers and everything. Really appreciate you guys stopping by. Um, anything at all, hit me up. Thanks, guys. Bye.